So now let's see how we can work around with the layer picker option inside of Adobe Character Animator. So to do that, first of all, I'm going to import a puppet. And to do that, I'm going to go to File. I'm going to go to Import right here. And then I'm going to select Bulb and import it out. So this is a Bulb file that I made for this specific uh, project. So I'm just going to import this out. And there you go. There's the puppet. So if I were to click on Edit Original, then I'll be able to see how uh, the layers are actually stacked up in Adobe Illustrator right here. So this is a vector file that we have right here. And then here you can see that I have a parent layer bulb and then the sub layers are bulb glow, uh, bulb semi glow right here and then bulb is off right here. So let me just go back to character animator right here and work with it. So I'm just going to create a new scene right here. So I'm just going to create a new scene right here and bring in the bulb onto that scene. So I'm just going to go around right here, open up the scene and bring in the bulb right here. So I'm just going to go around, bring in the bulb right here. So right now you can see that all of the layers are being displayed at the same time. But what I want is I want control so that I can use the slider to change around the layers to turn it on or off. So to do that, I'm going to go around and double click on the puppet and I'm going to select the main layer right here. And on the behavior section, I'm going to click on the plus button and then I'm going to go around and choose the layer picker right here. So I've chosen layer picker and now what I can do is I can go back onto the record section right here uh, and you can see that layer picker is here. So I can go around and then you can see that if I were to change the index offset, you can see that I can change around and cycle through the layers. I can also work around with the percentage and if I were to enable, let's say, uh, mouse and touch input, I can click and drag it and it circles through the layer. So it depends on what you're comfortable with. You can go for different types of input. In this case, I'm going to create a slider. So I'm going to go to controls right here and to generate a control for this particular uh, layer cycle, I'm going to go on to the percentage offset. I'm going to click on these three little dots right here and then I'm going to go around and create uh, a control. So to do that, I'm going to choose around add to controls panel. Once I do that, you can see that I have this right here. So if I were to go towards the minus section, nothing happens because there's nothing right there. But if I were to go around, change it out, you can see that it can cycle through this. So what I want to do is I want to go for infinite cycle. So right now what happens is that there's nothing on the minus value, but only in the plus. So if I were to go over here on the out of range area and select loop, now let's see what happens. Even if I were to go uh, backwards, you can see that it cycles through these right out here. So on uh, one, it's on. So you can see around, you can turn it off. You can start the animation this way as well. Turn it on, turn it off and so forth. And you can see that you have a control over the uh, cycle layer option right in uh, within character animator and many possibilities are possible through this. So if you guys learn something as always, and as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.